Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. Alright, last time we, uh, managed to pick up, uh, well, the majority of our group again, so huzzah for that. Dad didn't drop us too far apart from each other, <laughs> and, uh, so that's definitely uh, a blessing there. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me, the last person we ran into last time was Riku, just when we were about to consider, uh, going back to the Oasis for, you know, maybe to regroup or something like that. But she seems to think she knows exactly where we are, so it looks like we're going to be uh, uh, following her lead from here on out. Um, seems to think that uh, this might be where her home is, so... Well, if anybody would know where we are, she would, if that, that's the case. So, anyway, so... Now that we also have Riku in our party, we no longer need Orin to be up there. Uh, let's just get the... Uh, I think that should be uh, about right. Yep. All right. Let's get our equipment to reorganize here. Your Sonic Steel Soft Shield. Sonic Steel sh Soft Shield. <laughs> and that's fine. Sonar Soldier's Targe. Fine. Hunter Spear Soft Armlet. That's fine. Fireball Soft Armlet Arm Guard. That's fine. Very well. Malik Sorcery Bengal and Frost Blade and Serene Bracer. Perfect. Just need the one update there. All right, let's just. Uh, do we need to heal up? No, we don't. All right. Let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, Riku. Are we? Oh, is it up here? And yeah, so the first uh, Machina battle you get into with Riku and your party, uh, she goes into that day, which basically is basically a tutorial about what happens when you steal from a Machina. So let's just uh, have Waka defend there. She just, she just to defend, Waka defend, and let's see what happens when she steals from them. She basically dem dismantles them. So yeah, you get two grenades out of it. I think they can drop up to three, or you can get up to three from them, but uh, yeah. One drawback with that is the fact that uh, you cannot overkill them that route, so... For the most part, I'll just be doing uh, the whole Kimari and uh, Lulu thing. Oh, wait, hang on. Lulu hasn't had a turn yet, so let's just use her to finish it off. I'd rather have her finish it off. Uh, there we go. All right, where are we going next, Riku? That way. Oh, okay. Lead the way. Uh. Uh, which way was it again? Oh, this way. Oh wow, we got a trifecta here. <laughs> Three of the last, I believe, of the four enemies we have not, or at least I have not run into yet. All right, first up is the Sand Wolf. The Sand Wolf has 450 hit points, 670 damage to overkill, resistant to magic, uh, weak to fire and ice there. You might be wondering, well, if you got fire and ice on your weapon, uh, does it do quadruple damage? And the answer is no. It just chooses one of them and uh, applies the uh, the weakness bonus, if you will. Just once. Anyways, uh, yeah, 20% resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness, and you can steal two sleeping powders from them. So yeah, but in any case, let's have Titus take this thing out. And then there is the uh, Mashusu here. It has 680 hit points, 1,020 damage to overkill, resistant to magic, weak to ice, as you can see there. They're strong to fire. Or did I say resistant to ice? No, weak to ice and strong to fire. Uh, resistant to fire and 20% re resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness. Ooh, pardon me. And you can steal high potions and silver hourglasses from them, so obviously I'm going to be prioritizing high potions for as long as we need to. Uh, if once if we reach 99 high potions, then I'll probably switch over to like an Al Al to the Alcyon kind of thing. So, which is this thing right here? The Alcyon has 430 hit points, 645 damage to overkill, not resistant to magic. So there you go. We've got options with Waka, Kamari, and Lulu in that case. Uh, and weak to fire as you can see, and 20% resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness, and you can steal one to two, one to two smoke bombs from them. So, yeah. In this case, we want the, uh, let's make sure I got, no, I don't want to attack, we steal. Steal from the, uh, Mishusu. Let's bring in Orin to take care of it, because it's got a, just like its other... So be it. Bre uh, elemental breathing brethren, uh, it does have a, uh, a mean breath attack, so, yeah. And then Kamari, let's just have him. No, he doesn't need us, let's defend. Uh, and then 
Lulu, and then we'll bring in Waka to finish it off. Now this isn't that big of a deal right now, because uh, we won't need it where we're going, but this is, I'd probably consider to be the best place to do it, is to make sure Waka's overdrive is charged by the time you get out of here. Uh, like I said, we won't need it where we're going, uh, but eventually we will, we would like to have it, so yeah. Right, and, and we will get one more opportunity to charge it up, it's just this is the uh, the easiest way to do it, I guess you could say, along here. Over here. Alright, lead the way. Uh, I moved everybody around, yep, okay, just making sure. And if I forgot to mention it in the... Uh, Last battle with the Alcyons, uh, their physical attack can inflict the darkness status, so just keep that in mind. Uh, anybody need to be healed? No, not yet. All right. What's up? Um, this way. All right. Well, what's over here? Hang on, I'll be right back. Eh, just another cactus I decided to run from. All right, and in here we get four more high potions. All right. Now, if you d did not get the Albid Primer Volume 14, uh, that's the Primer we got from Rin in the, at the Travel Agency in the Thunder Plains, where you had to uh, choose a specific answer when talking to Rin. Uh, if you did not get the Albid Primer Volume 14 from him there, I believe you can get it somewhere, get it, get it where it's laying around somewhere around here. So just keep an eye open if you didn't get it there. So, yeah. Alright, in any case. Um, I think I'm lost. All right, well, let's get back on uh, the path where you were. Um, this way. Oh, my. I guess. As long as we're on the right spot, then she knows where we are. Over here. All right, lead the way. No, what's this? Ahead. A place to something. Hmm. Wonder what it said. Oh, it said up here. Ooh, a chest. Well, I dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Especially since we ran into another cactuar. So yeah, if it got the jump on us. One of us more than likely would have been dead, but anyways. Got four more high potions. Alright, how are we doing on high potions? 89? Alright, still got a ways to go. Little ways to go. Let's head over here. And over here, and down here. We get two X potions. Alright, let's head over here. I've actually been forgetting to use Tidus's Overdrive. But, uh, if I remember that next battle, I'll use it, I guess. Anyways. Alright, and this chest we get two Mega Potions. Alright. Let's head back. One thing I think I may have forgotten to mention about uh, fighting zoos is that you kind of want to take them down to below 25 HP as quickly as possible. Uh, not sure exactly how many turns it requires, but eventually, it w as long as it's in the air, it will eventually uh, you'll eventually see it start to charge up or something so when it says that its wings are starting to glow or something like that. Basically, when its wings start to glow. You kind of want to uh, uh, knock it down below 25% uh, by the time it gets its next turn, or else you'll be in a world, world of hurt. It basically, it'll unleash a, an attack called Sonic Boom, where it just sweeps down over the entire party and does about a thousand plus damage to everybody. So, yeah. One way you guys could probably mitigate that is by using a, a power break on it as well. So, there's something to keep in mind on how to help deal with them, deal with them as well. So, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Anything to make dealing with them a bit easier. In fact, use. Yeah, I guess generally using uh, 
power break on it with Orin would probably be a, a very reliable way to go as far as dealing with them. Uh, one other thing that I don't think I've actually mentioned yet is that you may have noticed by now when you're trying to heal that you don't exactly have access to albed potions from your item menu. Well, that's where Riku comes in. She's the only one that's able to use them. Uh, anybody with the use ability here it says use the special items. Yeah, this is what allows you to use the albed potions. Uh, so yeah, basically she's our healer right now. So yeah, uh, the, as the uh, albed potions say, they heal a thousand HP each and they cure those status ailments there. So yeah, definitely a good cure all for uh, well, the fact that Yuna's not with us anymore. So yeah, we got to uh, fend for ourselves until uh, we get her back. So yeah. All right, Kamari, Titus, and Riku. All right, anybody need to be healed? In dire need of healing? Eh, yeah, Waka could probably use it eventually, but, uh... Yeah, well, actually, you know what? How are we doing? Eh, yeah, let's use a high portion, why not? Uh... Yeah, it's still, uh, worth it. It's still worth five regular potions, so... Yeah, what's this? Uh, something, uh... What's that? Beware a fiend. Something fiend. Is that to the right? Something fiend to the left. Some maybe weaker fiend to the right. Stronger fiend to the left. Hmm. Oh, what we got up here? Wonder what it could mean. I get eight albed potions out of that chest. Awesome. Eight more of them. Oops. No. 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 I already read it. I, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, use this CS3 warrior. Yeah, let's take care of our sphere levels. Why not? Make the journey a bit easier, I guess. However long it may be, still. All right, Orin, more agility. You could always use that, and some HP as well. All right, and Lulu, some MP for her, and then Kamari. Get some magic strength and magic defense. Awesome. A nice boost of plus four to the magic strength. And plus two to the defen defense. Magic defense. And Riku, she learns the ability Mug. Basically, attack and steal all rolled into one. So, yeah. Mm, pardon me. I think there's actually... There's some enemies that were, you know... You know how some enemies have the ability to counter you know physical attacks i'm actually not sure and 100 sure about this but i think mug actually circumvents that i'm not entirely sure if i'm wrong please let me know in the comments um and i'll uh, yeah <laughs> yeah i'll definitely uh, thumbs up it anyway but uh yeah I, I believe it can actually circumvent it i may just be thinking thinking off the top of my head for no reason uh, it's just a fantasy of mine but uh for some reason, that stands out in my mind as a an issue or a situation. But anyways, and Titus learns Delay Buster. All right. Kind of like, uh... There you go. I'm out of curiosity. Actual enemy uh, greatly delays an action of an enemy. Okay, so I'm guessing this is probably, like, what? Maybe twice as strong? So, yeah. Just wondering if it said for how long kind of thing or how many... But anyways. Uh... I guess that kind of answers its own question. But anyways, let's heal up. Hit if we can. There we go. Let's go over here. Why not? It looks like a bit of a playground, if you will. Uh, and another thing I was reminded of, reminded of in that battle is that you can run into uh, chests in battles here as well. So, yeah, just keep an eye open for that. I got a couple of X potions out of them from that battle. All right, and here we get another elixir. Awesome. All right, I think I saw something glowing over here. Oh boy, and the one enemy I've actually been uh, hoping I would run into. I wasn't. Gonna, I was about to say looking forward to. No, not quite looking forward to running into it, but I definitely wanted to run into it for the sake of the video. <laughs> He could have actually run into this guy going all the way back to the Oasis, so yeah. I hope none of you had to deal with this guy, uh, this thing, uh, before now. The Sandworm. Or at least before finishing watching this video as well. But anyways, <laughs> the Sandworm here. 
45,000 hit points. You need to do 1,432 damage to overkill. Uh, strong to fire, weak to ice and water. 80% resistant to sleep, 50% resistant to darkness, 50% resistant to power break, uh, immune to petrification, slow, threaten, death, and provoke. And yeah, so not resistant at all to poison, so completely susceptible to that, so we will be using that. Uh, basically, the poison status will take away 10% of this guy's HP, of its, of its maximum HP, every time it takes an action, so a quite, quite, a quite useful uh, status ailment to have for this battle. All right, so in this case, there's actually a, a, some caveats with this battle as well. It's not just a straightforward battle, because it can be a bit of a pain in the butt, which is the reason why I wanted to run into it in video. First up, every seven turns, it will use an, uh, an attack called Earthquake. Guess what it does? Yeah, it uh, hits all of us and does a significant amount of damage. Uh, it uses its sixth sixth turn to charge up for it, so just keep a heads up there. Also, mm, pardon me. That's just for its regular turns. Every time you target it with an attack in any form whatsoever, even if it's just something like uh, stealing from it or maybe even throwing a, a potion to its way for whatever reason, any targeted action on the sandworm for every one of those for uh, after after 10 targeted actions it'll use an ability called swallow i believe it's actually a counter so heads up there so basically what swallow does it basically randomly chooses one of your party members swallows it and they're removed from the party until it decides to regurgitate it However, if it does not regurgitate it before it dies, uh, that person loses out on all the all of the AP. So, heads up there. So there's a bit of a trick I have for dealing with this. First up, let's bring in Lulu and cast Bio on it. This might help your complexion. <laughs> there we go. And let's have... Uh, Tidus come in and actually cast haste on the sandworm. So that's one targeted attack, and this is number two. You don't have to cast haste on it if you don't want to, but this ju this just speeds things speeds up the battle a bit. All right, then Kamara, let's bring in uh, Riku to mug or steal, whichever you may. <laughs> I'm just going to use steal just in case you haven't learned mug yet. That's number three, so you can steal shadow gems from it, and I believe the rare steal is stamina springs, which can be useful for customizing, I believe, so, yeah. Alright, that was three. Let's bring in Waka. Ah, uh, where's the early bird when you need it? <laughs> Have him defend. Ow. Yeah, even it's fit, yeah. Orin, it's, uh, lost 4,500 HP just from attacking us, so yeah. Right. Orin. And then let's bring in... Lulu and Kamari to start pelting this thing with water and ice. Alright, this is number four. And this is number five. Pelt it with both of them. Both weaknesses. Ooh, nice damage. Ow. Alright, uh, bring in Riku as you need to heal. Uh, Matitas. Let's have him haste the others. Have him haste Lulu. It's right to five. This is number six. Now you want to keep an eye on its HP. Alright, uh, it's still alright. This will be number seven. Now, if you want to play it safe, you can actually wait it out here. Uh, I'll hit it one more time, so I've got two turns to be able to finish it off. All right, so I've got two turns to be able to take it out, or two attacks to take it out. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to have to defend until it goes through two of its turns. So yeah, that was 4,500 damage there. I'll wait for its next turn. Actually, let's bring in uh, Riku to heal up Kamari there. So yeah, use the Alban potions here just to... Just to show you, in case you haven't decided to use them. Yeah, Albed Potions do not show up here. So let's use this to here. heal up Kamari. Up. And Lulu defend as well. Kamari defend. Ready, ready and Quake. There's its sixth turn. 
And the next turn it gets, it will unleash Earthquake. So yeah, now, but it's down to 2839. Oh boy, this could be rough. Um, uh, how's Titus doing? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> uh, what if we hasted Kamari? Maybe. Ooh, cut it close. I guess I probably should have he uh, hasted Kamari before I went through all that. All right, this should be enough to. There's number nine, and this should finish it off. Whew, with an overkill, yeah. All right, we got probably the most challenging of the enemies to deal with. Uh, uh, I guess. In the least painful way, I guess, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> the least painful way I've discovered, but yeah, you can actually uh, get level 1 keys for your spheres from it as well. This is actually the rare drop from it, so nice. Uh, it does normally drop two ability spheres, so yeah, so if you overkill it, you'd get four ability spheres uh, commonly. But, as a, I believe that is all of the new enemies around here, so yeah. Right, what is this thing? Ooh, it's another one of those. Still complete nonsense as far as I can tell. Alright. Let's go check out these ruins over here. And I already did that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, more treasure. And that was another sand world. <laughs> yeah, I want to emphasize you can actually run into those things all the way reaching back to the oasis. So, yeah. Let's keep that in mind. Alright, uh... Hmm, I'll do one more there. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. Alright. Do have a save sphere somewhat nearby, so. We got 10,000 gil out of there, and in here is another level 2 key sphere. Awesome. Hey, there's something on the ground in that other ruin up there. Let's go take a look. You got the Albed Primer Volume 17. Alright. Alright, just find another zoo there. Alright. What have we got? Where is it? Oh, wait, I already picked it up. <laughs> Those are Riku's feet. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Now, you can go up through there if you like. But let's go back to the saves here first. But yeah, you could go up north there, or you can go to the other side and, and get some more stuff. But what kind of treasures does this desert hold for us? And just how much further it is, is it until we reach uh, the home of the Albid? Well, perhaps we'll find out next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Liking the video makes it easier for other people to find the video so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well. And uh, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe and enable notifications to be notified when I upload the next video. And should you be interested in keeping up to date with any channel updates, you can always check my feed at twitter.com slash intrepid83. The link to that is in the video description. And if there's anybody you think of, friends, family, anybody else you think might enjoy this as well, uh, feel free to share the, the playlist with them. Uh, the link to that is in the video description. And uh, as always, comments are welcome. Just please keep them spoiler-free and speculation-free for the sake of those who have yet to experience this game and its story. And uh, we thank you for that. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.